Good morning, everybody. Cari amici e amiche, compagni e compagni, carissimi attivisti e militanti, socialisti e democratici, sono molto felice e onorato di aprire il congresso del Partito dei Socialisti e dei Democratici qui a Roma. Grazie al Partito Democratico, al suo leader, ai suoi dirigenti, ai suoi dipendenti e ai suoi militanti per l'entusiasmo e la solidarietà che, che ci eh, state dimostrato nell'ospitare il congresso elettorale del PES che lancerà la nostra campagna per cambiare l'Europa. Dear friends, I am, as all of you, very excited here today in Rome, the eternal city, continuing our eternal fight for justice, human dignity, solidarity, equal rights and opportunities for every person in Europe. This is our first election congress of the Party of European Socialists. And I want to thank, first of all, the PD and the PSI of Italy for hosting us today in this beautiful city of Rome and for the great collaboration we have had in the past weeks in preparing this remarkable historical congress for our family. And I also want to welcome the Partito Democratico as our newest full member in the Party of European Socialists. Let us welcome them to our family. It has been seven years, a long path of cooperation between the PES and the Democratic Party. And finally, the day before yesterday, the National Board of the Democratic Party decided to have an application for our membership in the PS and yesterday unanimously the presidency of the PS approved this application and I can tell you without the PD without the strong Italian left our family was not complete I believe that we shall be even stronger now since today what we are doing today is a landmark and it comes in a historic moment for the European Union. This Congress marks the moment that kickstarts change in Europe. The moment in which citizens start regaining trust in Europe. This is what we have gathered for here today. This is our mission. And today is the 1st of March. In my country, this day is considered to be the start of spring. And this is why all the delegates of our Congress have received a small present, a gift from our national delegation. These symbols, which are called Martinica, and please put them on and wear them, because it symbolizes the resurrection of life after winter. It symbolizes wishes for good health, and good luck. And actually, finally, it symbolizes the return of hope. And we, European Social Democrats, progressive and socialists, we want to bring back hope to the citizens of Europe. This is what we are here for. Let us face it. The Conservatives have made a big mess in managing Europe and managing the crisis. Every unemployed person knows it. Every worker who has seen their social rights plundered knows it. Every woman whose rights have been under attack by the Conservatives, and we have seen in Spain in the last months an attack of fundamental rights of women for choice, for safe and legal abortions, and it's unacceptable. They all know it. Every young European whose future is in jeopardy 
knows it. We can see, we can feel how many Europeans are disappointed and feel deeply frustrated with the direction in which the European Union goes. And we share these feelings. But again, here we have the nationalists, we have the anti-Europeans, we have the xenophobes who say, Europe is the source of your problems. Europe is to be blamed. And this is why they propose to vote for them. And they say, we have to decide the crisis and the problems in our national nutshells. I can say clearly, this is a false alternative to the status quo. This is a way backwards. This is a way towards division in Europe. This is a way towards hatred and confrontation. And it is not productive. So, having these two realities, the outcome of the conservative dominance and the false alternative from the nationalists, it is our job of the socialists in May to get the biggest turnout of PS voters as possible, to make sure that finally there will be a real change in the European Union. The Conservatives and Liberals have broken the trust of many European citizens. It is their responsibility, but we are here to rebuild what they have broken. We are here today to say that another Europe is possible. We are here to say and to start rebuilding a Europe of progress, a Europe that protects, a Europe that performs. Do we trust that we can do it? Oh, this is not enthusiastic. I want your answer. Can we do it? Sure we can. And I'm very proud and I can tell you that as a leader of the PS and a national leader, I will be deeply personally involved in the national campaign of my party and also in the campaigns of the parties which are looking for support from the Party of European Socialists because it will give us a chance to engage with people and to listen to their concerns, just like Martin Schulz does. That is why he is presenting his candidacy for Commission President. It is the voters who should always have the final say. This is our deep understanding and belief. And in principle, that all our PS member parties follow. Look at Elena Valenciano, our PS Vice President, who is heading the PSOE list in Spain. Look at the European Commissioner, Maro Ševčovic, who is heading the ticket in Slovakia. Look at Arlene Desir, PS France First Secretary and top candidate for the May elections, still passionate about how Europe has to change. We are out there in our communities, in our towns, in our villages. And this is the difference between our PS family and all our opponents. We may have European posts and positions and responsibilities, but we are utterly engaged at grassroots level, listening to people's ideas, sitting at kitchen tables, pubs, public clubs all across Europe, so that the very real concerns expressed can be finally heard in Brussels. We don't just talk about bringing Europe closer to people. We do it. This is the big difference between us and the rest. 
The roots of our family, dear friends, are deeply ideological. They are based on values, freedom, equality, solidarity, justice. And these values are eternal, as is our fight for their implementation. And I want to share with you, in my view, we have to make this European campaign very ideological, value-based, because for us, these elections are not about power. Power is the obsession of the EPP. They always calculate, they organize how to get more power. Finally, for implementing their conservatives' views and economic interests. We are in these elections, in this campaign, to stand for our values, to defend them, and to find a way to, become, to make them a reality. And I can tell you that our family is the best suited with political instruments, with our policies, with everything what our S&D group did in the outgoing parliament, and I thank to the group for all the efforts defending our principles and values in this mandate. And we are also very well suited with our manifesto. I want to thank all the member parties for your contributions. We had at a certain stage 260 amendments with all your ideas. And in the presidency, in the PS team, we did everything possible to unite all the ideas, to make a punchy, clear document with commitments of how we want to change Europe. The text which we propose to you, submit to our Congress, shows the clear roadmap with which we want to change Europe. It is time to put jobs first and to build a social Europe. It is time to relaunch our economy and to put the financial sector at the service of the citizens and the real economy. It is time to rebuild a union of equality and women's rights, a union of diversity, a union of equality between nations and mutual respect, a union where everyone can enjoy safe and healthy life, a union in Europe where no one is left behind. It is time also for a Europe of democracy and participation, a green Europe, a Europe that is a strong player in the world. And I want to say, we, the European Union, have our responsibilities all around the world. We cannot build a wall between Europe and the rest of the world. This is the deep understanding of European socialists. We can see how much suffering happens all around us. And we shall always support people who fight for democracy, who fight for accountable governments, who fight for peace, for social justice, all around the world. And I believe that the PES will strongly continue our policy of open doors to the membership and future perspective for EU membership for the Western Balkans. We can also see what is happening in Ukraine in the recent months. The European Union played a crucial role in stopping bloodshed and violence. And two of our foreign ministers, Frank Walter Steinmeier and the Minister of Foreign Affairs of France, played a very important role in brokering a deal of transition. But the saga is not over. The situation is very tense. And I believe that we European Social Democrats should give a clear sign that we shall help 
Ukraine remain democratic, united as a nation, and develop and get closer to the European Union. We are a family that has always fought for true and lasting peace in the Middle East and in the negotiations <coughs> which are going on. We have to help to find a lasting solution between Israel and Palestine. To achieve all our goals, dear friends, we have gathered here today to elect our common candidate, Martin Schulz, to lead as president of the next European Commission. I have full trust that Martin is the best candidate to lead our family, to lead our European Commission, to lead the progressive change that Europe needs so desperately. <coughs> For me, Martin, you are not just the natural candidate of our family. For me, you are a truly people's candidate. This is essential for your victory. I have seen you not only in the European Parliament or in the Council and meeting officials, heads of state. I have seen you talking to minors. I have seen you having debates with students, answering all kinds of questions, difficult questions about Europe, about our family, and giving the right answers. And what is very important, Martin is a person of integrity, a person of principles and commitment to them. Martin knows what social justice means. It's not just empty words for him. He knows what a Europe of rights is. He knows what a Europe of democratic participation means. Martin is a fighter that will not shy away from the battles that need to be fought to restore a Europe of progress. I am confident about this. <coughs> the fact that we can rally from all corners of Europe to support a common vision, a common candidate, and a common future for Europe is in itself a tremendous message of unity and hope. Is it? Yes, it is. The PS Manifesto and the Common Candidate are the <coughs> cornerstones of our election plan. But the heart of our campaign is every woman, every man in this room and across the continents who shares our views who shares our hopes, and who really wants to change the European Union. So our major allies is every European citizen. In the next five years, <coughs> will we see more of the same conservative and neoliberal Europe? Or will we all join forces to move towards a new Europe, the choice is in our hands. The choice is in the hands of European citizens. We count on each, on every one of our activists, on each and every supporter of change to help us mobilize everyone to get off the coach in May and to get to the ballot and vote for change. With your help, we will knock the vote. And I can tell you, in the final of my speech, yesterday, together with Martin, we had a meeting with our activists. More than 20,000 all around Europe. This is the heart of our family. This is the most strong spear in our campaign. And if you would be there, you could feel their energy, their trust, their confidence. And this is why I invited here this group of our activists 
from the 28 member states of the European Union to send our common message to all European citizens. And our message is, knock the vote for Martin Schulz. Martin President. 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 I want this emotion and feeling to spread around Europe. In the next 90 days, we simply have to do our job to reach as many people as possible. Martin our candidates, our activists, and we shall do it together. We shall change the course of Europe towards a new Europe. Good luck to you, Martin, and success to the Congress. Have a very fruitful discussion.